Now with the summary done, difficult words done, explanation of the poem done, we come to the last part of this chapter and that is the question answer. Small is beautiful. There is a very famous book. A German writer called Schumpeter wrote this book way back in 1920-21. The title of the book was Small is Beautiful. In this book he tries to say that anything done in a small scale gives better results. Whether small dams, whether small societies, small colonies, small nations, and so everything done in a relatively small scale is more productive. I am sure this small poem is no different. Like the book Small is Beautiful, which itself was about 80 page old book, but made a landmark impact on society. This poem by Pablo Neruda, though small, had a far-reaching impact on the readers and you are no different. So we go on to the question answer session and the first question that we have is, which is the exotic moment of the poet refers to in this poem? Exotic matlab mene aapko bataya, vilakshan, bahut akarshak pal, atulani ikshan, wo koon sa hai? Jiske baare mein poet charcha karta hai. That exotic moment will be when the whole world will be silent. When man exercises total silence, total absence of movement, your absence of total movement, such a moment will free man from unnecessary rush, noise, harmful actions, violence, etc., etc. Imagine for those, that counting of 12, yad ye cheeze na ho rahi hoon, jis mein violence na ho, kisi tarah ki bhaagam bhaag na ho, koi shor gul na ho, to wo dunia exotic nahi hoogi, to kya hoogi? That very moment, he can take time, he can give time to rest, he can give time to think for himself, he can give time to look within and introspect and also avoid all kinds of uh, you know, uh, unmeaningful activities or harmful activities. All kinds of such activities that disturb peace, that disturb tranquility. So this moment will be the exotic moment. What does the author refers to while talking about the salt gatherers and the fishermen? This is question number two. What does author refer to? What does he mean by talking about this? The answer is that Pablo Neruda is talking about violence of any kind and asking us to refrain, to stay away from any kind of violence for that brief moment. If that happens, then there will be no harm being done to animal world. Sati, he also wants that it will also give time to salt gatherer. It will also give time to the people to look within and identify the factors which are causing dangers to himself and for which the mankind himself is responsible. Apne swam ko jo nuksan pohunchara hai, batana chahta and thereby by citing these examples of fishermen and salt gatherer, he intends to say that it is time that man thinks the consequences of his doings before doing anything. 
man thinks about the consequences of his own doings before doing them. The question number three, why does the poet feel that uh, we should not be single minded? Kavi aisa kyo lagta hai ki hume ek mat ka nahi hona chahiye. Why does he feel that? Because he says uh, we are single minded about one thing and that is to make life move. Jindagi ko chalane ke liye hum sab poore aadmiyon ka poore de poore vishw ke logon ka ek hi uddeshya hai jinda rehne ke liye kuch karna. Is mamle mein hum sab ka uddeshya ek hi hai. How to keep our life moving? Everybody is busy doing that. Everybody is busy pursuing his business and following this goal of survival. And that is bad. The poet says that if we, if we sit quietly and rest for a while, then perhaps all the individuals will find answer to himself. All the individuals will find answer for the sadness in the world, the sadness that has enveloped the world, the sadness that has come from pollution, that sadness that has come from violence, from characterlessness, from fall in values, and so on and so forth. So he says, to be single-minded is not good. Let us give time that will help us in having under better understanding of the causes of sadness. The next question from this chapter is, justify the title, keeping quiet. Shirshak ko justify kare, siddh kare, ki ek shirshak sahi ha. As you can read from the whole poem, all along the author is emphasizing on one point. The importance of quietness, the importance of being quiet. Because he feels that if everything is quiet for a while, it will give time for us to analyze, ruminate on the causes for the troubles in the world, to understand what ails the world. दुनिया को क्या चीजें बिगाड़ रही हैं इसको सोचने का समय आदमी को मिलेगा ये कब मिलेगा यदि वो क्वाइट है सो ही वॉन्ट्स इज अपीलिंग टू द मासिस दैट बी क्वाइट बिकॉज कीपिंग क्वाइट हैज इट्स ओन एडवांटेज इट गिव्स टाइम एंड सो फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव the title is absolutely befitting for the lines that he has written. A very important question now from this poem and that comes from part two of uh, this poem where he says, please do not be confused. The question is, how does a stillness not to be equated with inactivity. Arthat meaning differentiate between inactivity and stillness. The poet says, I don't want to have any truck with death. Whatever I have said does not have any trucks with death. Explain. This line is the turning point of the poem. He gives clarifications that by not doing any of these things, what I have asked you, you are not being dead. You are being inactive for a while. That's all. He says life never comes to an end on earth. Life keeps coming. Rebirth, cycle of birth and rebirth. It goes on. This cycle of birth 
is being taught by Pablo Neruda in this line when he says that uh, I don't want to have any trucks with death and life keeps going. Jeevan chalta rehta hai. When everything appears dead, he says, life throbs under the earth crust. When everything looks dead, you will find that something has reappeared. When everything looks, when things look dead, plants look dead, animals look dead, new life surfaces from the crust of the earth. Jameen se naya jeevan saamne aata hai. और इस प्रकार ये जीवन की साइकिल चलती रहती है क्रस्ट मीन्स जमीन के अंदरूनी हिस्सा देर फॉर स्टिलनेस शुड नॉट बी इंटरप्रिटेड एज टोटल इन एक्टिविटी स्टिलनेस शुड नॉट बी इम्प्लाइड एज स्टिलनेस शुड नॉट मीन टू यू टोटल इन एक्टिविटी नो स्टिलनेस सिंपली बींग being at a place for a while the poet refuses to uh, you know relate himself connect himself with death he clearly says that please do not treat it as death i have no trucks with death that's very clear next question why do men become sad how can this sadness be overcome to overcome matlab dur karna i have overcome the difficulties i have overcome the sadness that was there main apne ko dukh se ab dur kar diya hu apne se dukh ko dur kar diya hu so to overcome aadmi dukhi kyon hota hai and how can he overcome that is the next question udasi ki baat karte hain pablo neruda and in that context this is the question or we can also say how might a huge silence interpret the sadness of man how huge how might a huge silence interrupt the sadness of man not interpret interrupt the sadness of man मनुष्य के उदासी की व्याख्या नाउ इट इट मीन्स वॉट इट मीन्स दैट मैन मैंस ओन डूइंग्स आर कॉज फॉर हिज सैडनेस इन हिज रश फॉर लाइफ सर्वाइवल ही इज फॉरगेटिंग ही इज ओवर लुकिंग द फैक्ट दैट ही हिमसेल्फ इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस सैडनेस विच हैज एनवेलप द होल वर्ल्ड he must know that he is himself the creator of his own disasters disasters matlab khatre disasters matlab aapda khatre aur aapda jo bhi samasyaen aa rahi hain prakritik aapdaen uska nirmata aadmi hai bhagwan nahi ya koi aur nahi ya ye prakritik aapda ka arth ye nahi hai ki ye prakriti ne kiya hai प्राकृतिक आपदा के कारणों पर जाएं तो इट इज ऑल मैंस क्रिएशन विच हैज कॉज अनहैप्पीनेस सैडनेस अमंग अस हिज ओन एक्शंस आर थ्रेटनिंग हिम विथ डेथ विथ क्वेश्चन ऑफ सर्वाइवल एंड स्ट्रगल फॉर सर्वाइवल कॉजिंग हिम टू बी सैड एंड सो ऑथर से इज फर्दर only a huge silence only a huge silence can interrupt this sadness means be quiet keep quiet be motionless for a while stand still and in the process give time to yourself once you do that you will realize that you are doing the wrongs that you need to correct your path and you will surely correct it provided you give time to yourself to think silence is the only solution he says or to avoid unnecessary dialogues speeches fights wars etc 
ग्रीन वॉर्स आर बींग फॉट वॉट इज ग्रीन वॉर पर्यावरण के लिए जो लड़ाई लड़ रहे हैं वॉर्स आर बींग फॉट फॉर फायर गैस और इन सब के लिए जो भाषणबाजी है इससे बच बचो कोई फायदा नहीं है सर्वश्रेष्ठ उपाय इस सैडनेस से बचने का इस उदासी से बचने का द बेस्ट वे टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस मरोस फीलिंग फ्रॉम दिस सैडनेस अनहैप्पीनेस इज बी क्वाइट फॉर ए वाइल दैट इज वॉट ही सेज द नेक्स्ट पोयम द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट डज द पोएट आस द फिशर मैन एंड द मैन कलेक्टिंग सॉल्ट टू डू what does he ask these people to do what does he want to convey to them by doing this asking this poet fisherman se or salt gatherer ko kya kehna chahta hai kya kya chahta hai unse kya nahi karne ke liye kehta hai aur aisa karte hue wo unse kya apeksha kar raha hai मछुआरों से क्या अपेक्षा कर रहा है उनको क्या बताना चाहता है द आंसर इज वेरी सिंपल द पोएट आस द फिशर मैन एंड ऑल दो इंडल्ज इन वायलेंस एंड मैन हु कलेक्ट सॉल्ट एंड ऑल दो पीपल हु आर बिजी डूइंग वर्क नॉट टू डू दैट फॉर ए वाइल कुछ क्षण के लिए सभी को वो किसी भी तरह की गतिविधि से रोकना चाहता है किसी भी तरह की हलचल से रोकना चाहता है बाय सॉल्ट गैदर ही मेंट दो यू आर वर्किंग फॉर दर सर्वाइवल सारे काम करने वाले मजदूर श्रमिक जो भी विभिन्न क्षेत्र में जो लोग भी काम कर रहे हैं कुछ क्षण के लिए रुक जाए और अपने हाथों को देखें अर्थात अपने स्वयं को देखें और सोचें कि मैं जो कर रहा हूं ये मेरे लिए कितना नुकसान देह है और मेरे लिए का अर्थ है मानव के सर्वाइवल के लिए मानव की खुशी के लिए सेकेंडली वॉट डज ही वॉन्ट टू कन्वे द पोएट वॉन्ट टू कन्वे through these examples the message to the human kind that whatever we are doing as on date is something like causing harm to ourselves humko lag raha hai ki hum ek achhi duniya basa rahe hain achhi duniya bana rahe hain vigyan ke yug mein vaigyanik avishkaron ki madad se हम न जाने कहां से कहां पहुंच गए हैं क्या से क्या कर बैठे हैं मोबाइल नेट इनकी तरंगे इनका फायदा लेकर हमने न जाने मानव सभ्यता को कितना आगे पहुंचा दिया है बट ऑन द कॉन्ट्रेरी लेकिन ठीक इसके उल्टा हम ये भूल रहे हैं ऐसा करते हुए कि हमने फायदे कम नुकसान ज्यादा किए हैं अपने बाय डिस्ट्रॉइंग ट्रीज बाय कटिंग ट्रीज बाय किलिंग एनिमल्स बाय डिस्टर्बिंग द इकोलॉजिकल बैलेंस बाय डिस्टर्बिंग द रेडिएशन बाय कॉजिंग प्रॉब्लम्स इन द रेडिएशन अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेज ओजोन लेयर टेम्परेचर राइज मेल्टिंग ऑफ स्नो all these are our creation and why did we do that not to do harm to us but under the thinking that these our actions will benefit us so give time to yourself and you will realize that whatever actions you have done in the past have actually done more harm to you than good next question what does the poet say about different kinds of wars you remember he has spoken about certain kinds of wars in para 
what does he say about them and what alternative does he suggest what is the poet's attitude towards war yuddh ke prati uska kya nazariya hai kya ravaiya hai ye bhi ek sawal hai the answer is very simple green wars he talks about green wars whereby he meant man at war with environment disturbing the ecological balance then he talks about harmful gases emanating poisonous gases don't forget the bhopal gas tragedy of 1984 85 which killed over 3000 4000 people in bhopal at one gas leak and caused health damage to over a lakh or two people in bhopal and such incidents have happened in many parts of the world gas wars chernobyl in ussr and many many more examples of gas leakage which have caused immense damage to human civilization human masses in large number so he talks about that and then he also talks about wars with fire where thousands of people die of fire and in the process he says that no one remains alive at the end to rejoice the victory to to celebrate the victory and so pablo neruda says that uh, it is my advice that man should rather wear clean clothes and walk hand in hand with his near and dear ones hum log in sab se dur rahe haath mein haath mila kar chale chhaya ke tale chale shantimay mahol mein rahe where there is tranquility total calmness where there is total calmness our hands are clean our clothes are clean our thoughts are clean if we do this we will feel at peace with not only ourselves but we will feel peace with everyone and the world will be a better place to live the poet condemns wars he attacks wars a warring attitude of any kind of war he says is not worth they should be stopped at once there is a famous quotation also that says there can never be a good war and a bad peace ladai kabhi bhi achhi nahi hui hai kisi bhi ladai ka ant acha nahi raha hai aur kabhi bhi shanti buri nahi rahi hai so writer says bring peace think of peace work towards peace and avoid war at all costs be it the war of green wars be it gas wars be it wars with arms or any other kind of war including fire the next question how is the total inactivity total inactivity on earth in the winter months full of life on the one hand total inactivity in the winter but that is the very time when the world is full of life very interesting question sardiyon mein prithvi par kul nishkriyata jeevant rehti hai or we can put it the other way this question how can there be life under apparent stillness apparent upar se dikhai dene wala satahi roop se sthir dikh raha hai lekin there is life how does poet prove it with regard to this the poet's answer is life actually never ends never stops on earth even after apparent stillness or total inactivity the seeds germinate giving rise to new crops the newly borns grow up replacing the old ones 
these seeds remain dormant shant andar baithe rehte hain in the mother earth womb and during winter they come out they germinate into plants in the spring and with that we see new life coming up celebration of new life and so apparent inactivity must not be taken as total death apparent inactivity apparent stillness also have life underneath uske niche bhi jeevan hai the next question why shouldn't we speak in any language author says in one of the lines we must not speak any language so any language in inverted comma why should we speak why should not we speak in any language and not move our arm so much by speaking in different answer is by speaking in our languages we are making sure that the society remains divided because we communicate in our own language making it difficult for other language people to understand and so we remain divided and at the same time we must not move our arms that means we must not do any activity that can cause damage of any kind whether by gathering salt whether by killing animals causing violence whether by cutting trees and what not so we must stay away from these two things for a while and if we do that we will have a better world because that will give us time to introspect the question is what will counting up to 12 and keeping still help us achieve what will counting up to 12 and keeping still will achieve kya milega isse yadi hum 12 tak gine aur nishkriy rahe uttar hai it will give us time to pause it will give us time to relax it will be very relaxing moment moment that will bring peace to our mind and if it gives pause then we will think twice before we do anything before we act upon anything and when we think twice before we act we tend to do less harm to anyone it is a fact that most of the troubles most of the wrong doings in this world uh, they are results of first thought activity they are results of being in a hurry they are product of the rush and they are product of no second thoughts so therefore keeping quiet for those 12 seconds counting up to 12 and being still will help us gain back our moorings moorings means our poise hamari jo apni jagah hai hum wahan pahunch jayenge yadi hum kuch samay chup rahe to aur hamari jagah se ka arth hai jahan hame rehna chahiye hum apne ko wahan payenge yadi hum chup rehte hain to second last question do you think the poet advocates total inactivity and death to advocate means kya uska wah vichar karta hai prastav karta hai samarthan karta hai kiska total inactivity or death ka no he is very clear in para 2 right in the first line he says don't be confused he says i am not talking about total inactivity i am not talking about death i am talking about stillness because if you are still underneath is the current of new life blossoming he doesn't make it he makes it very clear 
that he is totally against with no trucks, with death or inactivity. He says that stillness should not be equated with total inactivity. Stillness simply means cessation of hostility. Cessation means to cease, matlab samapt hona. Hostility matlab shatruta. Kisi bhi tarah ki shatruta ki samapti stillness. Or rather I would say that is for him stillness means being composed for a while. Being at your own place and composed for a while. And so if we are still, we are not hostile, we are less harmful to every other thing that is around and we will think twice before we act. The last question is, what is the sadness that he refers to in the poem? Kavita me, Kavi ne uda, kaun se udachi ki baat ki hai? What is that he refers to in the poem as sadness? By sadness, the answer is, by sadness, the poet means, poet implies the violence, all the negative things which are taking place around the world and killings and such other things which are harmful to human society's existence. And so he says that it is this sadness which needs to be removed. And further he adds that this sadness can be removed by human beings only because they are the cause of this sadness. And so with this, the question answer to this uh, poem is over. And a beautiful poem, a short poem, but lot many questions. Probably n as many number of questions as the lines are in the poem. We end up here and hope that by reading this poem thoroughly, you all will become a better man, a better citizen, a better global citizen. Why do men become sad? How can this sadness be overcome? To overcome matlab dur karna. I have overcome the difficulties. I have overcome the sadness that was there. Main apne ko dukh se ab dur kar diya hun. Apne se dukh ko dur kar diya hun. So to overcome. Aadmi dukhi kyo hota hai? And how can he overcome? That is the next question. Udasi ki baat karte hai Pablo Neruda. And in that context, this is the question. Or we can also say, how might a huge silence Interpret the sadness of man. How huge, how might a huge silence interrupt the sadness of man? Not interpret, interrupt the sadness of man. Manushya ke udachi ki vyakhya. Now it, it means what? It means that man, man's own doings are cause for his sadness. In his rush for life, survival, he is forgetting, he is overlooking the fact that he himself is responsible for this sadness which has enveloped the whole world. He must know that he is himself the creator of his own disasters. Disasters matlab khatre. Disasters matlab apada, khatre or apada. जो भी समस्याएं आ रही हैं प्राकृतिक आपदाएं उसका निर्माता आदमी है भगवान नहीं या कोई और नहीं या ये प्राकृतिक आपदा का अर्थ ये नहीं है कि ये प्रकृति ने किया है प्राकृतिक आपदा के कारणों पर जाएं तो इट इज ऑल मैंस क्रिएशन व्हिच हैज कॉज अनहैप्पीनेस सैडनेस अमंग अस हिज ओन एक्शंस are uh, threatening him with death, with question of survival and struggle for survival, causing him to be sad. And so author says further, 
only a huge silence only a huge silence can interrupt this sadness means be quiet keep quiet be motionless for a while stand still and in the process give time to yourself once you do that you will realize that you are doing the wrongs that you need to correct your path and you will surely correct it provided you give time to yourself to think silence is the only solution he says or to avoid unnecessary dialogues speeches fights wars etc green wars are being fought what is green war paryavaran ke liye jo ladai lad raha hai wars are being fought for fire gas aur in sab ke liye jo bhashan baji hai isse bach bacho koi fayda nahi hai sarvashreshth upay is sadness se bachne ka is udasi se bachne ka the best way to get out of this morose feeling from this sadness unhappiness is be quiet for a while that is what he says the next poem the next question what does the poet ask the fisherman and the man collecting salt to do what does he ask these people to do what does he want to convey to them by doing this asking this पोएट फिशरमैन से और सॉल्ट गैदरर को क्या कहना चाहता है क्या आ, क्या चाहता है उनसे क्या नहीं करने के लिए कहता है और ऐसा करते हुए वो उनसे क्या अपेक्षा कर रहा है मछुआरों से क्या अपेक्षा कर रहा है उनको क्या बताना चाहता है द आंसर इज वेरी सिंपल द पोएट आस द फिशरमैन and all those who indulge in violence and men who collect salt and all those people who are busy doing work not to do that for a while kuch khan ke liye sabhi ko wo kisi bhi tarah ki gatividhi se rokna chahta hai kisi bhi tarah ki halchal se rokna chahta hai by salt gatherer he meant those who are working for their survival sare kaam karne wale mazdoor shramik um, jo bhi vibhinn kshetra mein jo log bhi kaam kar rahe hain kuch khan ke liye ruk jaye aur apne haathon ko dekhe arthat apne swayam ko dekhe aur soche ki main jo kar raha hu ye mere liye kitna nuksan deh hai aur mere liye ka arth hai मानव के सर्वाइवल के लिए मानव की खुशी के लिए सेकेंडली वॉट डज ही वॉन्ट टू कन्वे द पोएट वॉन्ट टू कन्वे थ्रू दीज एग्जाम्पल द मैसेज टू द्यूमन काइंड दैट वॉट एवर वी आर डूइंग एज ऑन डेट इज समथिंग लाइक कॉजिंग हार्म टू अवर सेल्फ हमको लग रहा है कि हम एक अच्छी दुनिया बसा रहे हैं अच्छी दुनिया बना रहे हैं विज्ञान के युग में वैज्ञानिक आविष्कारों की मदद से हम न जाने कहाँ से कहाँ पहुँच गए हैं क्या से क्या कर बैठे हैं मोबाइल नेट इनकी तरंगे इनका फायदा लेकर हमने ना जाने मानव सभ्यता को कितना आगे पहुंचा दिया है बट ऑन द कॉन्ट्रैरी लेकिन ठीक इसके उल्टा हम ये भूल रहे हैं ऐसा करते हुए कि हमने फायदे कम नुकसान ज़्यादा किए हैं अपने बाय डिस्ट्रॉइंग ट्रीज बाय कटिंग ट्रीज बाय किलिंग एनिमल्स बाय डिस्टर्बिंग द इकोलॉजिकल बैलेंस बाय डिस्टर्बिंग द रेडिएशन बाई कॉजिंग प्रॉब्लम्स इन दी 
रेडिएशन अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेज ओजोन लेयर टेम्परेचर राइज मेल्टिंग ऑफ स्नो ऑल दीज आर अवर क्रिएशन एंड वाई डिड वी डू दैट नॉट टू डू हार्म टू अस बट अंडर द थिंकिंग दैट दीज आवर एक्शंस विल बेनिफिट अस सो गिव टाइम टू योर सेल्फ and you will realize that whatever actions you have done in the past have actually done more harm to you than good